It's Muffin Day. Today's Muffin Day, also known as Saturday. What song is that? Oh, Shower Day from No Effects. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. I did a really bad job of it anyway. So even if it was like your favorite song, you probably would have been like, nope, not that song. You sang some other song. <laughs> um, okay, so we had this text argument this morning, me and Brianna, where we were talking about scones. And I said that savory scones are better than sweet scones. And Brianna said, sweet scones are better than savory scones with icing. They have to have icing. So we're not making scones. Sorry if that was misleading. We're making muffins. First notice you, you were first. You were first. Yeah, you win the prize. Um, but, but muffins, I feel like, are kind of the same situation. People sometimes prefer sweet muffins, and sometimes people prefer savory muffins. So what do you prefer? Are you a sweet muffin person or savory? Sweet, for sure. <laughs> I usually like yeah. sweet ones, too. But I'm making chocolate. mine savory today, and you're making yours sweet. And so we're going to yeah. compare after. I don't know how we're going to do Oh, we're it. comparing. I Probably not. <laughs> There's absolutely no way that that can be like a study in any way that it's not <laughs> no. biased. <laughs> Corn muffins. Oh, that's what I'm making. That's here. Chocolate chip second. Oh, and that's well, you're kind of making chocolate chip. Don't tell Scott the other ingredient in yours, though. I'm putting chocolate chips in some of mine because my mom doesn't like them with chocolate chips, but I prefer them with chocolate chips. Your mom's cray cray. Who doesn't she like likes, them with chocolate chips? She likes milk chocolate, but not semi sweet. And I can't use milk chocolate unless I get it from Passion. I'm out of Passion. Is it even that different? Like semi sweet and milk chocolate? They're both sweet. Yeah. They're different. Yeah, Bananas are bogus. bogus. Okay, so he knew what he was putting in yours, even though we didn't even say it. Um, I they're pretty common. So, I yeah, so I am beer. making corn muffins, Scott. But last time I made them, there was a couple issues that I had. So I'm going to try to remedy that today. Are you making muffins. corn muffins or corn dog muffins? Corn dog muffins, but that's only because Very I don't different. actually like cornbread. It's, like, not my thing. And so there has to be something else in it in order for me to eat it. Yeah. And do you eat the cornbread part or do you like pick around it and just eat the dog part? <laughs> well, if I was still five, I would probably just eat the part I wanted and pick around it. But I'm a big girl now. <laughs> so I think I can eat the whole thing. Also, if there's mustard involved, that greatly increases the chances of it all being eaten. Mustard on cornbread muffins. Mm -hmm. What do Ooh, people Michael, do you were not first. I don't not know. first. Oh, the sad face. What is, why do you say a medal though? Oh, it's a it's third, place. third place. <laughs> you just happen to have an emoji <laughs> for a third place medal. That's hilarious. The dog part. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. <laughs> I only want the dog part in every scenario. Like, ask me a question. It's the dog, but the answer is the dog part. I'm a no-go on mustard too. Do you like regular okay. yellow mustard or Dijon? Yellow, I don't like Dijon. It's too fancy. Like Dijon better. Dijon is Dijon better, like but not like- People who ride in limos. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that commercial? You might be that was for Grey Poupon. Yeah. Grey Poupon is like the, the Dijon have. of mustard. Yeah, it is. And I think they have like a whole grain and then the regular. I don't like the whole grain. I don't like like the crunchy. Okay. I definitely don't like crunchy anything in anything. And that is the problem with the last time I made my cornbread muffins. I actually made donuts, but it doesn't matter the shape. It's the same batter. Is that there's like pieces of the cornmeal, even though I put it through my blender to make it finer. Oh, I forgot. It's still, there's still like pieces that are big. What's up with that? What if you put it through your blender and then put it and then sift it so you can and get all the pieces out? Uh, you are fucking smart. All right. I'm fucking Sometimes. I know. I got out my coffee grinder because I was like, okay, if the blender can't do it, I'm going to grind it in this thing. But the last thing, okay, Scott, have fun running. Scott, did you get done with oh, this tomorrow? Just I can't kidding. believe we're taking second place to running. Oh, yeah. For Scott, everything takes place second place to running. That's pretty insulting. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, it is. Is Stanley going? If Stanley is going, it's okay. No, Stanley never goes. Oh, that's then it's not that's okay. the kind of human Scott is. He goes out and on runs without his doggo. Who I, I swam with Mashi last night, and it was very fun. What is that device? Just wait till she gets. Uh, it's a basting brush. Yeah. It's. What do you uh, I think I have a. Oh, oh is it what you use it? to oil your? Yeah. I think I have a silicone one too. I do. I have a silicone one too. I actually like oh, this one better for okay, most things. But I like this better to do muffin tins. Because mm, it's bigger. Yeah. Are you doing regular it, size or mini? Regular. Mm. Okay. I need to figure out how much corn to make. I was going to make your bearberry muffins with strawberries because I have a ton of strawberries left, but I've never had a strawberry muffin. I don't know if that would be any good. Yeah, I've had one. It's good. I would just have to chop up the strawberries. Otherwise, uh, if they're only in halves, it'll fall apart. Yeah, it will. My you, like chop them like corn blueberry dog fall apart. I mean, my corn dog donuts fall apart. I don't mind if they fall apart, but they're hard to transport if they fall apart. Where are you transporting them to? Uh, my stepdad will take them like to golf. To what golf? Uh-huh. Yeah. He'll take them with you him. You make muffins and then the, he takes them and shares them with his golf friends? No, 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 no. He'll take like his in the morning. Oh, well, for him. Although I, was, I did make the muffins I, I made last I was picturing them having week. a big golf party and that you were catering it with your muffins. <laughs> well, the muffins I made last week, my mom asked me to make them and she took them on their trip for them and their the other couple. That's nice. I got one of them. Oh, they got did you know this was happening or was this like an impromptu? Yeah, yeah I know. She, oh, okay. she asked me. Oh, okay. And I That's, need nice. Them. That's nice of you. Okay. I try sometimes. I'm trying to decide if I should make a full batch or a half batch. What would you do if you were making this and it could be bad? A half. Okay. I think I have to go. I mean, with if that. you think they're if you think they're going to be good but not pretty, then make a full. If that's all you're worried about. But if you're worried about them actually being bad, what do you guys think? Let's take a poll. Okay. This is how oh, we'll we find see. out if people are actually listening to us or if Steve has his Spotify on. Oh yeah, yeah. He's probably not listening. Probably not. Um, he has us on mute. Well, if I'm doing it half. But if you're recipe testing, do you want to know how much you need to have a full batch? Like how much well, of each ingredient? No, because actually a full batch would make two trays of these. So someone would have to oh, have two okay. of these and normal people usually only have one. I have one and it only has, I don't even have one that big. Really? It's just a standard. What do you have? That, is that is that a mini one or a regular? Yes. My, my uh, yes. My mini one. Is that a mini one? I don't know what else it could have been. Oh, it's a half of a half. Oh, wow. That's small. Uh, Steve is listening. I'm impressed. Wait, is what a perfect banana? It is. It's Yes, it is your type of perfect banana. Wait, let me see what this his is, type of perfect banana looks like. This is what the other one looks no. like. That's the perfect banana. Um. This Wait, is, is that the one? The nice ripe they spot. Look. Yeah, that's the best type. Michael's right. Not to not to eat, only for baking. To no, eat, to they eat. need to be a to eat. They need to be a little green, like a tiny bit. No, green. ew! <laughs> that's so wrong. That was Absolutely quite the yell. Not. It leaves a weird squeaky thing on your teeth. Oh God, no! That's terrible. See, that's why that's why I'm a good banana partner because I like them when they're a little underripe, and other people like them when they're more ripe. So whatever ones I can't eat, they still get eaten. Mm, yeah, you just have to keep them coming. You have to have a steady supply. Well, yeah, no. Well, there can be green on my. No, bananas. fuck no, no green on bananas. Absolutely not. That is disgusting. 
Mm -hmm. I've actually used ones that weren't ripe enough for uh, muffins. I like they weren't terrible. quite ripe enough. No, I just added a little bit extra sugar. Yeah, but I wouldn't the consistency be weird? Because the unripe bananas consistency is what I don't like. The consistency is terrible. Not green. Color. They were ripe enough to work. Oh, it's bad for digestion. That makes sense, actually, because it's unripe. Yeah, but I'm also the person who can eat like almost two cups of raw broccoli and be fine. Yeah, that's also really weird. That's ter that would be terrible for my digestion. I can't eat any raw broccoli, not even like one little floret. But then there are times where like water it. makes my stomach upset. So it's hit and miss. I, what if the water is just triggering the, the, the badness that the broccoli did? And the raw bananas. I think some days I've been drinking a little bit too much kombucha. How much is and, too much? Mm, like 22 ounces is probably too much. Yeah, I think 16 ounces might be the right amount. It's you know, the, you're size supposed to drink put, the, the size they sell it in. It's, you're supposed to actually drink 12 ounces if you're drinking it and four ounces at a time throughout the day. That's a lot. But I, think that's, I think that's mainly for people whose stomachs aren't used to it yet. Uh, oh, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I started drinking kombucha when I was so young that my stomach was great back then. This is today's kombucha. And I just opened it. It's a pomegranate. Wait, raw broccoli? Wait, Michael, what does the exclamation points in the caps lock mean? Does it mean, yes, raw broccoli, woo? Or does it mean, no, that's cray cray? I, I have been having the raw broccoli with other raw veg with the bitch sauce on it since mine turned out too thin. It works more like a dressing. So I've been using that. What, what, wait, what came out too thin? Oh, your bitch sauce? Yeah. So I'm using you it like never a added more almonds to thicken it? No, because it's good like it is. It tastes exactly the same. It's just yeah. thinner. Yep. It does taste exactly the same. Okay. Well, I definitely poured way more than I needed. Are you sifting it? What? Are you sifting it? No, not yet. I was measuring out my corn because I was like, oh, maybe I need to cook the corn first because it's frozen. But then I was like, if I'm going to put it in the blender. Also, I was just eating them frozen and my teeth were able to eat them. So I feel like the blender will be able to blend them. So Wait, you don't really you don't really love them and you were eating them frozen. I don't really love what? The cornbread muffins. No, I'm eating the fro corn frozen, silly. You're eating frozen corn? Yeah, I was just eating it for like the past five minutes. It's delicious. I I can't imagine my teeth would be okay with that. Oh yeah, my teeth were fine. It means okay, no way. Well, okay, yeah, I agree. No way for raw broccoli. It's awful. It looks like I get all the raw broccoli. Yeah, we're all on team no raw broccoli, you're right. Okay, if Brianna, I have to go potty again, so you okay. have to you have to do this. If they talk to me, I'll talk back, but okay, I'm not holding a conversation with myself. Wait, you have to, it's the rules. Or you can, <laughs> to talk to you can tell a story. I don't have any good stories. Uh, okay, so if you guys are team no raw broccoli, that means I get all the raw broccoli. And if Steve is team long green things, then I need my third the long green things too. Oh, uh, did you guys hear about um, Oatly getting sued? Did you guys hear about that? I think it was, I think it was actually in California that they got sued um, for using the word milk, I believe. And they won. I read it on Veg News, I believe. It was on their Instagram. So, maybe our brand can take off and we won't get sued because Oatly paved the way. So I'm mashing my bananas. This recipe takes two bananas. It's Robin's banana bread donut recipe that I make into muffins instead because I don't have a donut pan and they're baked. Um, you read it a few days ago. How did we not talk about it? 
Robin, did you see that Oatly got sued for using the word milk and then won their case? <gasps> they won? That's amazing. Yeah, I think it I think it was in California. That's so good. I hope that makes yeah, my kind of go up. It paves the way for other plant milk. Yeah. Brands and cheese and dairy. Yeah, cause cause Hampton uh, Creek lost the Mayo lawsuit, right? Is it just not Mayo because it has it doesn't have eggs in it? Yeah, that's what they tried to argue that mayonnaise ha the word mayonnaise can't be used by anybody else because it means that it has eggs in it. I don't know how they won that, but they did. That's stupid. Okay. So oh, you think they're more strict over there? Hmm. I am using a mixture of cane sugar and coconut sugar. Sounds delicious. Because I don't have enough cane sugar left. I went through it very quickly. Okay, so if my full recipe is 175 grams of cornmeal, what's half of 175 grams? Ah. What is it, 87 and a half? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm going to go with that. Because there's no way I was going to be able to do that math on my own. 87 and a half you just, grams. You just wrote an economics page. Oh, God. I didn't do any of the calculations. I just talked about how we were going to do the calculations. Not only did I only talk about how we we're going to do the calculations, but the really uh, complicated equations I like, copied from somewhere else and just pasted them in. <laughs> Maybe you should keep a calculator in your kitchen. I do. I have my phone. Oh, yeah. Phones. That's right. So Steve, what's the argument over there for not using the word milk? Is it the same as over here? That it like confuses people and stupid stuff like that? Oh, I forgot to get my milk out. I just dumped cornmeal all over the damn place. I just dumped sugar on the counter. Okay, well, we're winning at life over here. This is why I wanted to do my all my cooking today before we cleaned the house, because I knew I was going to make a big mess. Ours just got cleaned a few days ago. Just got cleaned. How nice for you. How nice for you to just have fairies come and clean your house. Well, you have, you have Maki to help you out. Yeah, she's just like known for her helpfulness. Well, she brought you a towel the other day. Yeah, that rag. That was, that was amazing. Robin posted a picture on Maki's Instagram of Maki bringing her a rag. It was mm -hmm. super cute. It was very cute. Every once in a while, she just keeps shit. All the time. Yeah, I really think that if somebody is going to get confused over that consumer confusion, then... They should probably be consuming less dairy. <laughs> if they, that's, that's the source of their confusion. They are. I think they need some assistance in the nutrition department. Okay, so this is the cornmeal. The sifting worked great. You were right. A ton did not right. make it through. That was brilliant. I don't know why I didn't think of that. You can add that to your recipe instructions. Oh yeah, I definitely will because I unless I guess people buy fine ground cornmeal, but I bought yeah, but this if, during COVID and I just got what they gave me. But if not everybody does, then it's a good tip. Yeah. Like if you don't have if you're not using fine ground, then yep. sift it. Yeah. That yeah, can also go point. on your tips page. We need to put more stuff on there. I think there's only three things on there. There oh, are. and also well, we need to keep track of all the words I made up this week so that I can put them in a blog post. I we need a Google Doc for that. Yeah, I guess. Because I can't okay, remember so. texting in two different apps and I can't remember any where they all are. So Robin made up the word animalogies. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, 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 robinized. That I didn't make Steve's one up, wasn't it? That was Steve's word. I made up sanitizement uh, yesterday. Sanitizement. And there was one oh, what more. What was the one where I was like, oh, the the lip ladles. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, the lip ladles. But there was something in between animologies and lip ladles. The second thing I made up and it's missing from my memory. I don't remember. I thought there were just three. No, because this last one was the fourth one. Yesterday was the fourth one. There were three until yesterday. Looks like okay. we do need a Google Doc. Yeah, apparently. We can't rely on our brains for this. I mean, if I blogged more often, we wouldn't need a Google Doc. Maybe that's the answer to life. Okay, I need 65 grams of flour. Is that cut in half? Yeah, that one was easier. It was only 130 in half. Is she okay? She just finished. A bottle of my Mexican pure vanilla extract is now finished. I haven't eaten muffins for years. Wait, but I'm making savory muffins. You even you haven't even had savory muffins in years. I'm making corn dog muffins. Both of you just have dark chocolate for all of your sweets. That sounds so boring. Neologisms. <laughs> A book of neologisms will be available from all good linguistic bookshops. What is a neologism? I don't know. I don't even know that word. Apparently, that's what we're making up. It's words people make up. I guess so. Okay. I don't. That's my. That's my guess. Michael, what is it? Thirty-four. What's thirty-four and a half? Seventeen. Yes. Okay, now I have moved on to Madagascar bourbon vanilla extract. I love that kind. I love Madagascar vanilla. I wish that when you bought vanilla extract from the store that it was the real stuff and not imitation. From what store? I've never gotten imitation. The McCormick one is imitation oh, extract. Yeah, but why would anyone buy that? We had three different bottles of like this fancy stuff and I have used. I haven't seen that bit. McCormick stuff since I lived with my parents and we don't want to talk about how long ago that was. <laughs> Just a few years ago when you were mm -hmm. 18. Yeah, exactly. Really recently. I'm almost okay. done with my wet ingredients, but I think Oops. I'm getting Oh, I forgot to half the salt. That's not that big of a deal. Twice as much salt? That seems like a lot. Right, you don't, most recipes don't call for a lot of salt to begin with. Okay. I just took a little out. I don't know. Okay, well, there was my first mistake today. Oh, you guys are the dark chocolate twins. You guys used to be vaccine twins. Now you get to be chocolate twins. Okay. I'm using coconut milk, the So Delicious, and it actually does say coconut milk on it. Milk. But it is, it's all one word. So I wonder if that's how they got away with it. I have never uh, mixed these by hand before. I always use the stand oh, really? mixer for it. Yeah. I, yeah, I almost always use or do it by hand when I do that recipe. I just didn't want to use the mixer today because I know it gets loud for everyone. Oh, you're very courteous. Well, we used a blender. We used blenders last week, and I felt bad about that. Yeah, I'm sure people did not enjoy that, but got to do what well, we you warned. Do. We did warn them, and we told them to turn their volume down. Yeah. 
So at least I, we did that. I, when I used to do Periscope back in the beginning of my streaming days, I would set my, I do it through my phone because that's the only way you can do it. And I would set my phone like on my, I would set it on my stove and lean it against the wall. And I remember one time I was making something in my cast iron pan with a metal spoon, I was stirring it. And someone was like, oh my God, please use a wooden spoon because that is like killing my ears. And I was like, oh shit, sorry. I Didn't forgot to know. chop my nuts. I didn't chop my nuts yet. I should do that. Where is everything? Oh, there it is. Robin, remember how I used to have those huge bags of walnuts and pecans? Yeah, yeah. I, I finished the walnuts and I had to buy more from the bulk at Whole Foods. Whoa. Did yeah. you tell your step to get a prize? I, it took me like two years. I mean, it was a lot. It was like a really and lot. And I, I was the only one using them. Which is weird because you're not even the one that bought them. I, I know. <laughs> but that's okay. okay. An, eighth, an eighth of water. An eighth of water. Yeah, nice. I am aware of a semi semi sweet chocolate. My favorite used to be milk chocolate, but obviously that's not as much of an option now. But Pasha does have milk chocolate chips. I need a new mini whisk because my mini whisk is breaking. You can borrow mine. Mine's right here. Okay, just hand it. Push it through here. It's not working. You can't reach. I can't reach. My little. T-Rex arms can't reach. I had to just pull out the broken one. So now I'm down to three instead of four. You have four of them? No, three tongs, three whisk. What do you call them? Wires? Whisk? Oh, whisk wires, yeah. But the uh, I can already tell that the number three is about to come out. And then I'll be Looks down like to two. Make this is how all my whisks break, this. just little by little. Amazon's calling your name. The problem is I only like cute whisks and the cute ones are the ones that break. Okay, flax yeah, egg is made. What's next? So I heard that you can now get prescriptions through Amazon. Oh, really? For dogs too or just people? I don't know. My vet didn't call me back yesterday and Maki's running out of pro in. Oh, but you have to have the script. Like oh. you have to do all that. Yeah, they can't just no. give you prescriptions. I mean, that would be ideal. That's what I need. <laughs> That's also very illegal. <laughs> you just I need wonder, your own prescription pad. I to do it in Canada. Probably for certain prescriptions. Dog ones might. What is she on? Proin. PP pills. Oh. Okay, I so told I you that to, I, I need to blend actually. Oh, gosh. Sorry, because this corn needs to be blended. Actually, I'm gonna use my immersion blender because it's only such a tiny amount. Dark Choco Crew. Why do you guys get to be a crew instead of a club? And how do you make these decisions? I do measure the walnuts with my heart. What was the thing I was gonna tell you right before we started streaming? And I was like, oh, we can start streaming now because it's like not private oh, information. Hawaii, something about Hawaii. Oh yeah, so that's what I was gonna say. We were talking about ice cream at grocery outlet. You can pay to see a doctor online and get prescriptions. Oh, it's expensive. Yeah, but Wait, does your insurance cover it though? I have insurance. Yeah, sometimes here they cover telehealth. Oh shit, but I don't need it for me. I need it for Maki and her insurance is a little more specific, but maybe I should look into that. If I could see a vet online, oh my fucking God, my life would be so much easier. Yeah, but how would they, they wouldn't be able to examine the dog. I don't know if they would do that. I know that's the problem. But what if I could have my records from my regular vet sent to them so that they could verify that she does need to take the pro in for the PP problem? then they would just give me I, the prescription. By the time that happens, your vet will already have it done. Will they? 
I don't know. The problem with moving here is this. There are a lot of people who just moved here and there's not a lot of services that are keeping up with the amount of people. And so vets and stuff like that, you have to wait like a month for an appointment. But I just figured since it was a prescription, I could just swing no. by and pick it up. They could just leave it on the porch. They could throw it at me while I drive by. I don't know. <laughs> okay, there's- Maki would catch it. <laughs> she doesn't like it. She used to love those pills because they taste like liver and she used to eat them without anything. And now I have to stick them into sweet potato to get her to eat them. I think she still likes them. It's just that she wants the sweet potato. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. She had that little run in with Derby where I had to give her antibiotics for a week. And after taking antibiotics and sweet potatoes, she's like, no, I'm not taking anything if it's not in a sweet potato now. That's what I would do if I were her. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, a quarter cup of corn. Let me write this down because this is my newest addition. So who is Derby living with now? Uh, these people that already had two dogs, it's Derby's their third dog. And they have this enormous backyard. Like it's gotta be like a half an acre or something. Um, where did I put the corn? Nowhere? Oh yeah. Do they know about Derby's attack? Half cup. Um, no, okay. fuck no. I'm sure they don't. I don't think they would have taken that on if they had known. Yeah. Okay, so, anyway, what you have like, so when you go to Hawaii, one of the things that you can find in every store is these chocolate covered macadamia nuts. And there's only one single brand that makes them vegan. And there's so many, so many brands at so many stores. So when I go, whenever I go to Hawaii, I'm just spending half my time hunting for this one brand of vegan chocolate covered macadamia nuts, right? Are they like, that good? Can't even go to Hawaii without having these. It's like the law. So that brand just made dairy free macadamia nut milk based ice cream. And I just got it at, at Grocery Outlet, and I haven't tried it yet, but I'm very excited to. Okay. I think it'll be better than the Oatly chocolate chip. I think it fucking better be, because that shit was really raunchy. Okay, I'm going to blend, okay? Blending okay. is happening. It's going to be noisy. Warning to everyone at home. Here it comes. <laughs> Okay. I still think something went wrong. That's why you're resting. Yeah, there are still chunks of corn in here that did not get blended. Are they small enough? What is it? What do you mean by small enough? Like, are they thin enough to work for the muffin? I don't know. I'm gonna try again. Sorry. Loud noise. <laughs> Derby used to freak out every time we ran the blender or the coffee grinder or anything that was noisy. So, do you remember? Do, do you remember back in the day when we used to actually show what we were making? No, I don't think I ever showed anything. No, that's because I this did. Is I was the one who like soy milk the blended with corn. I mean, yes, I totally remember that. We showed everything. Of course we did. Sounds like the garbage disposal. It does sound like the garbage disposal. I only run my garbage disposal here like twice since I've had my new kitchen. Oh, do you want to see my hood? Yes. Okay. So Robin <laughs> has been doing a kitchen remodel since like January. I'm trying so hard right. this work. Since February. Since February. Since February. It's now August. Can you see it? Yes, I, I can see the bottom of it. Yeah. I mean, the top has always been there. Right, yeah. Yeah, it was just empty inside. No, it's not empty inside. Um, 
did they, did you make a punch list? Yes, I did. And they did everything on it. So you're done. I'm done, but except that now I, we haven't paid them yet. And I, I wanted an outlet in my bathroom anyway, because I want one of those toilet seats that where you can wash yourself with the water after you pee. Um, bidet. Yeah. I didn't know if, I didn't know if they were called bidets when they're in the toilet. I thought a bidet was when it's a separate thing. So I wasn't sure. No, I believe a bidet is all the same it's, thing. It's is even when it's in the, the what? The bidet. The bidet. It's real. Does it work? I don't know. Let's find out. The hood or the bidet? Yes, it works. It's on right now. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. I just turned it off because I don't need it. I haven't cooked yet. I am so it. mixing my wet and dry ingredients together. Okay. I just blended my corn with my milk. And now I'm going to add some on. vinegar to it to get it to thicken a little bit. I forgot to turn the oven on. Oh, I guess I could do that too, huh? That was your that was my way of reminding you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm preheating to 375. There was one time, I don't remember what we were making, but we forgot to set the timer. What? Do you remember? There was one, I don't remember what we were making, but there was one time that we forgot to set your timer. <laughs> I bet it was a lot of times. Uh, yeah, Robin, so do you think you need the hood? Yeah, I usually cook. I just have been so crazy busy with work lately. Um, and I've been recipe testing this thing, which isn't a stove item, it's an oven item. So... Yeah, I'm good. Yes, I definitely need one. I saw Tay, I saw Tay a lot. I just haven't lately because I've been busy. Definitely needed one. Okay, baking soda. Before I had half a teaspoon and I'm having it, so I need a quarter teaspoon. That's some good math right there. <gasps> I mean, it's no 87.5 or anything, but I try. Well, I mean, you had your phone in case you needed it for that math. Wait six months, doesn't need it. <laughs> so rude. You didn't even ask about it. Brianna asked about it. It's like you went from caring to not caring, just like that. Quick like a cheetah. Well, in all fairness, he did tell me that you were getting the hood. I did. I told him too. I told no, you both. You, no, you told him and he told me and then I talked to you about it. <laughs> so oh, that's funny. we'll give him credit for that. That's funny. That was funny. But it would have been brought up in this live stream. Hey, Marley. Oh, Marley. How are you doing? I'm doing excellently. I don't know if that's a real word. But I did it. I said it. Maybe that can be added to the list. Yeah, not no. Only good words that have like a meaning get to get added to the list. Okay, this one's going in. Okay, I think that's all my dry. So now I need to finish my wet. We're making muffins, Marley. What have you been making and eating? I got the scoop on the hood. Oh, what muffins? That's a good question. We're each making our own variety. But wait, before we tell you, we have some very important questions to ask you. One is, what is your favorite kind of muffin? And the second one is, do you prefer sweet muffins or savory muffins? And once you answer those questions, then you can ask as many questions as you want. You have to earn the answer. <laughs> our questions come first. <laughs> Okay, my flax egg is so you, thick. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Marley, if you answer incorrectly, then you don't get the answer to your question. Did you ever watch Elf? Yeah, the movie, the Christmas movie? No, the show. Oh, Elf, yes. Okay. Yes. 
I was like, she picks the most obscure elf thing ever. I was like, no, not the I, obscure I, underground elf, but like no, the common TV you, show elf. What? I thought you said elf with an E. Oh. Oh yeah, I, I'm not a Christmas person, you know that. I wouldn't be asking about that. <laughs> Wait, so did you see Elf? Yeah, I did watch it. Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, you say of course, but let let me remind you about the craft. Um, okay, so in Elf, there was like this episode where he was like, I don't even remember what he was saying, but he was like, oh, where I'm from or on my planet or whatever, if someone did that, it would be like, eh, like he said that. And then the other guy was like, they would shoot you if you blah, blah, blah. And he was like, no, they would just like point their finger and be like, eh. And I just thought of that when you were like, Marley, if you answer incorrectly. And in my mind, I was like, eh. <laughs> Marley, that is the correct answer. You like we sweet love muffins? Your late mother's blueberry poppy seed. Do you have the recipe for oh, that? I never do poppy seeds. muffins. I should. I like don't even own poppy seeds. They're like not I even don't part either. of my repertoire. Um, uh, Whole Foods has a lemon oh, lavender yes. muffin. Oh no! Which is so good. No. It's Vito. so good. That's not good. That's impossible. Unfortunately, impossible. they only sell them in individuals. They didn't, when I went to the one last Is week, it that giant though? Have them. If it's an individual it's muffin big. and it's like huge, then I'm okay with it. It's like not huge, huge. It's probably the size of one and a half normal size muffins. Oh yeah, no, it has to be the size of two normal muffins minimum. My sister Your covers sister the recipe co card. Does covers she have like a, a phone that takes pictures? My sister doesn't have a phone that sends pictures, so I I can relate to what that's like, and it's very frustrating. But can they text? Half of 75 is what, 37 and a half? Yes. All right, I'm gonna measure my oil next. 37 and a half milliliters. Wait, where's the, oh, I already put it away. So when do Zen's classes start? Do they start on a Monday? What? Do Zen's classes start on a Monday? My measuring milliliters don't even go down this low. Yeah, they, no, I don't know. A week from yesterday, I don't know. I can't remember, sorry. Can you make muffins yeah, with start. a gooey chocolate center? You would have to put you the could. gooey chocolate at the end, right? After you, would, you take you them out. You would pipe it in. Yeah. That would be the easiest It'd be way. like, you do it the same way you do donuts. Yep, I think so. I'm just gonna eyeball the oil because I don't have a choice. All right, how much are you like using? Half of 75 milliliters. It's the problem with making this little half batch. I'm gonna have to figure that oil thing out though because I think I'm gonna write this recipe up as a half batch because I really don't think people have two of those. It would fall yeah. apart. What if you did it with mini muffins so you could just eat the whole thing? Like, right away. Um, well, Brianna is happy with your answer because she's making sweet muffins. That was the correct answer. I don't think I've ever had savory muffins. Oh, I have to cut up my hot dogs. Muffins with dark chocolate sounds muffalicious. I've contributed my <laughs> neologism for today's stream. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love your neologism. Uh -oh. Robin, I think I fill my muffin tins a lot bigger than you do. What's up? I think I fill my muffin tins a lot or a lot more than you do. Yeah, probably. Probably. Okay, I'm gonna use these Fielder's hot dogs. I'm gonna cut them up. Maybe I can I make a field, spot here. Actually, I have maybe Fielder's I'll... Italian sausage in the fridge right now. Oh, I have that. Oh no, sorry, yeah, this... I ate that one. I have this one. Did you know that Costco has these now? The Fielder's. No, but I don't have a Costco membership. Oh, sorry. Just kidding. Then. The thing. 
<laughs> Kimmy has one that someone gifted her. She should give it to you because she's, what did she say? She has a fear of having large amounts of things or something. Yeah. She I said don't think she I'll be whatever the disorder that is that's soon. the opposite of hoarder. Is there a disorder that's the opposite of hoarder? No. Okay. I'm so, the no. hoarder person of my, I'm, I'm a food hoarder and choose the opposite. Like I feel wealthy and not, like, great when I have a lot of food. But you're not really a, like a food hoarder. You don't have like your pantries organized. You don't have excessive, ex like it's not like your garage is full of bottles of ketchup and mustard. Oh, US Costco gets more. Oh, so you get, you have Costco, but you don't get the same things. Yeah, <laughs> being a food hoarder is great. Then when you want to make something, you have all the ingredients you need. Like the best. That's Love it. That's how I love it. See, I but love yeah, running. So Costco's out. perfect for me because I like saving money and I like hoarding food. But Kimmy doesn't care about saving money or about having a lot of food, so it's just not for her, I guess. Okay, the batter too. Should good. give that Costco membership to someone else. She should give it to you. And then I already you have give one. it to me. Oh yeah, yeah. what if hers? If hers isn't oh yeah, okay. Yes. I'll try to talk her into it because we have a plan where we're going to buy stuff together and then share it anyway. So she doesn't have, right. to have too much of it. You have excessive amounts of basmati rice and dark chocolate. Those are good things to have excessive amounts of. I also have an excessive amount of rice. Let me hear about what your excessive amount is so we can compare. Let's How about compare rice SX excessivity. Steve, how about oat milk and uh, cashew butter? You hoard brown rice? Oh, we all hoard brown rice. We're so cute. And millet ramen, you get that from Costco, don't you? Oh, no, that's rice ramen that I saw at Costco. Never mind. I don't think I've ever seen millet ramen. Thirty. Ki oh, I don't know what that means. How many... Is it still in the bag that or is about in the jars? Kilograms are what, 2.2 .2 pounds? Right? Kilograms, 2.2 .2 pounds. Oh, I don't know. Ish. So he, That's so 60 pounds. 15 pounds then? No, a kilo, that would be over 60 pounds. No, it's 15 pounds. A kilogram is less. Than oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Glad we figured that out. Um, yeah, that's a lot. I don't know how many I have in pounds, actually. I just have a big jar of it. But I think that's how they sell it at Costco. Oh, no. At Costco, they sell it in the 15 pounds. Yeah, 15 pounds. Yeah, that's how they sell it at Costco. Same. It's not 66 pounds. No way. No, I don't believe you. You're yeah, wrong. two point You're two all point wrong. two. Yeah, it is two point two times six six times whatever the kilograms no. are. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. There's two. There's around two kilograms in a pound. So it's the opposite. You have to divide. Not there's not two divide. pounds in a kilogram. No, you are so yes. wrong. There's no fucking way that's true. It is. I'm positive. No. Look up a converter. I don't have to. I know you're wrong, and I know I'm right. All right, oh, fine. Win this one. Really? Oh my God, Marley says you're right. How's that possible? That's a lot of rice. No, I don't. I don't understand how that's possible, because. If a scale has kilograms, I weigh more in kilograms than I do in pounds, right? No, you don't. No, it's the opposite. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I was remembering wrong then. I was thinking about the scale and how I thought I weighed a lot in kilograms, but you're saying I weighed less in kilograms. Yeah, you weigh less in kilograms. Like half less? How would I not, how would I miss, mess that up so bad? Well, you would divide it by 2.2. No, you're saying I would multiply it, right? You're Canadian? Oh, yeah. 
So you're a, you wait, give, you're Canadian. That means you use kilograms, not pounds, right? How would you know pounds? Or do you guys use both? I actually don't know. Okay, I made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, which means three of mine are not going to have hot dogs in them. I think that's okay. I made nine You weigh 64 kilograms? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I made it all up. I made up all my rememberings from the scale thing. That's the only way that I know what kilograms are is from scales having both and I remembered it wrong. So that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, oh my God, doing... wait, so you, were, you guys really have 60 pounds of rice? Holy shit, that is so much. How do you store it? I have a problem storing that much rice. Like I don't understand that part of it is the storing because I have these jars that I transfer stuff in. So when I buy flour at Costco, it requires four of these jars, which means if you're buying that much rice, I would imagine it would require like six or eight or 10 of these jars. I just don't have that many jars. All right, my oven just preheated, did yours? Yeah, I'm stirring I'm chocolate behind. chips into some of these. Oh my God, I'm behind, I'm behind, okay. I have to still grease my pan. which I will do after combining all this. Ooh, my buttermilk thickened up, good. Most of your rice is kept in a large, that makes sense. Oh, you don't get bugs in it? That's good. I've gotten weevils in my rice once, so now I refuse to keep it in anything but a jar. Yeah, that was fun. <sighs> that was in your garage. Yeah, that's keeping food in the garage is probably not the best idea. But when you don't have any other space and you're a food hoarder, <laughs> I guess that was the real problem is the food hoarding mess. It's only you weren't. There wasn't that stacks. much in there. So you can't collect. Yeah, you can't. Oh, you definitely can't collect that much in jars. It's too much. too much. Robin, you cook all the time, so you use all your stuff. It's not like it's just sitting there. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm gonna try to spray all my little cubbies right now. Okay, my muffins are going in. I don't remember, I think I normally, how long do I normally cook these for, Robin? I don't remember. What? I don't remember how long I normally cook these for. I feel like I cook them for 24 minutes. Set a timer for 12 and then we'll flip them. 24 sounds right. Because your oven runs low, right? Yes, we, that's what we think. Yes, I think that sounds right then. Can I use one of those forehead thermometers that you use when you're sick for the oven? Will it go up that high? No. So people shouldn't be have a temperature of 350. I mean, they shouldn't, no. Not like, not like the human homo sapiens from this planet at least. You need one of these. Okay. You had fly, flying ants? What are, I've never seen flying ants. Sounds awful. Oh God. Is that um termites though? Don't termites aren't they kind of like ants with wings? Do they fly? I think so. They also eat wood. They'll eat a structure apart. Yeah, they're not good to have around. I hope they're not termites. If you have those, you don't want them. <laughs> I mean, not that you would want any kind of flying ants. <laughs> I don't know why I said if they're termites, you don't want them, but the other kind, just the come other kind, you just put in a little, like you just make friends with them. The other kind, they're just them all. with wings. <laughs> you, Robin, because they you've know you're vegan. You've introduced the word hella, and this is a problem. Oh, I don't see that as a problem at all. 
It's a huge problem. I love it. I love it. Okay, I need to put all these ingredients together and start scooping. Okay. So since you put your flour in jars with narrow lids, how do you get it out? Use a spoon. They're not narrow lids, they're giant lids. Can you fit a measuring cup in there? Yes, I can, but I don't scoop with a measuring cup. That's something we need to put on the Google Doc. You should never scoop with your measuring cup. No, because it compacts it too much. Yeah. I, use, I keep a scooper in my jar, and then I scoop with the scooper into okay. the measuring cup. See, look. See my scooper? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And see how wide the... It's a big, wide. Yeah, so you can fit so your you entire could arm fit in a there. measuring cup if you wanted to. If you wanted to be that person. Well, you can do it with sugar. Here's my buttermilk, look how thick it is. Yeah. That is really thick. Oh, it's kind of lumpy too, but that's how buttermilk is supposed to be, I guess. You can strain it. Oh, it's lumpy because of the corn, I forgot. <laughs> Just kidding. Everything's fine. So I'm adding blended corn because my last ones were so dry, which is the what I remembered I don't like about cornbread is because it's so dry. So this is yeah, my be potential solution for that. I discovered the other day that I have Justin's almond butter cups in the freezer. I don't know how you forget about shit like this. There's no way and in I hell have, I forget that. I have another two bags of unreal coconut chocolate in the pantry. Oh my God. Chocolate lasts so long in your house. You know what? If there's ever like a time when we have to like hole up, you know, like COVID, I'm coming to your house. <laughs> yeah, we have pantry items for days. But like you have the good shit. Not just like food food. Wait, was your you comment removed? What was your comment? Oh, why was it removed? Fly I remember right. you said flying ants. Where do you live? I've never heard of them. That comment is still there. Oh, I didn't read any of these. Okay, I need to wait, go way back. Sorry. I'm an asshole. Okay, flying you corrected me on my inability to convert kilograms to pounds. And then you talked about how you keep your rice in a bag. And then Steve talked about the same thing. And then you said, if my pantry was clean, I shouldn't have insect problems. Oh, and that's when Brianna reminded me that when I had those weevils, I kept my food in the garage. And then you said that the garage is a weird place, but I did have a really fucking small kitchen, so I had no choice. And then we started talking about the flying ants. And then you were like, where do you live? I've never heard of them. And Steve was like, I live in England. And then flying ants are odd and fascinating and frightening. They are all of those things. <laughs> they are all of those things. They can only be fascinating if they're not in your kitchen. And then you said my, wait, was my comment removed? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, I guess it was removed. I didn't see it. Can you do it again? No one's modding. Can you do it again, but reword it in a different way that doesn't sound like something that needs to be removed. I definitely didn't remove it. So no, nobody I did. Think we, can, we can all know that at least. I don't even know how to remove a comment. Okay, I need my do super. We, do we get to see Maki today? Can you see us here? It's just sleeping like a big lazy ass. Wrong. Wrong. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, she's really little. Can you see her? Oh, yeah. Oh, but we'll get a closer up when she's less lazy. How late did she sleep in today? Uh, not too late. Actually, when David got up, she got up. So I guess we know who her favorite is. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess she was just she'll just sleep in with whoever's the last to get out of bed, I think. Yeah. And then she knows her coffee is already made and yeah, you would think breakfast is breakfast it's, is waiting for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she had breakfast on her walk today. She was the goodest girl. I went to visit a neighbor to borrow some salt and Maki tried to jump up on her. 
a lot, like over and over. I really need to train her out of that terrible habit because it's embarrassing. Were you out of salt? I needed a certain kind of salt that I didn't have. Oh, what did you not have? Um, the kind that's like the kind you buy from the store, like a regular store, like a Safeway. Oh, a just Safeway. regular, the table ionized salt. table salt. Yeah. I only have like the fancy salts, all the fancy salts. I have the fancy purple salt from Kyoto. I have some fancy salts with like, that are infused with herbs and wine. And then I have regular pink sea salt that I get from Costco, but I didn't have any, just the regular white kind. Oh my gosh. We're not getting Mom's? any comments. So I know. either everybody's given up on us. I'm I wondering think, if there are any in YouTube. Yeah, I think something is something is amiss. Maybe we're boring now, as if we weren't boring before. Uh, 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 okay, yeah. let's check out YouTube. Marley Kimmy's in Canada right now, too. She says it's very, very humid there and she forgot how humid it was. And that even though the temperature is only like 80 or something, she says it feels like hotter than a year when it's 110. What? Uh, oh, there we go. Now the comments are back. Raspberry beret, the kind you find in a secondhand store. Why are we singing that? I think we should change it to raspberry puree. And where Raspberry puree, the kind <gasps> you put in a cake sometimes. Like that? I think that works. <laughs> <laughs> so on this page of Robin words, do we also need Robin lyrics? Oh God, it would be so, it would be too much. I seriously make up a song every day. It's ridiculous. They're mostly about Maki, but sometimes about other things too. I would be constantly- Does Maki appreciate them? I don't know. I'm not sure. But like, it's always some new song that turns into a Maki song. What was yesterday's? I was pretty proud of yesterday's. I can't remember what it is though. YouTube is so just YouTube deleting is my comment with one word, which should be weird. fine to include. God, I'm sorry. That's so annoying. I don't know how to get them to not do that. Ugh, YouTube. That's so rude. Okay, well. Apparently we only accept one word comments in the form of emojis from now on. So make You're it count. You're describing a, a gaming platform. YouTube censors the word and the comment. It's weird. Hmm. Huh. I wonder if why YouTube cares. A, oh, you're describing a gaming platform. It's not like YouTube has Oh, is it because it's platform. like a co copyrighted? Ugh, I don't know. Which gaming platform? Oh, is that, that's probably the word they're like Twitch or something, and they're blocking that word. Ugh, that's frustrating. Are you playing a game right now? Is that why? Oh, maybe we can play 20 questions and try to guess what you were trying to say. That sounds fun. Robin, are you about to put them in the oven? Okay, I've got my batter in here. I'm going to show it to you. Now I'm going to stick so the hot cute. dogs in. So the hot dogs don't get folded into the muffins. What's up? They don't get no, folded. I did that with the donuts. Batter. Um, and I didn't like, I didn't like it because the hot dog pieces, I had cut them up smaller and then mixed it in with the batter. And I feel like it made it more crumbly. Like they were kind of falling apart because there were so many pieces in there. I don't know if that's true, but it made me think of the, what I told you was wrong with the chocolate chip cookie recipe, how you had too many chocolate chips, but then you made it again mm -hmm. and we realized that it was actually my shitty measurement. So, yeah. You were trying to ask Robin about how she was, oh, this new platform, Restream? Oh, the Restream one we're using? Oh, they wouldn't let you use the, oh my gosh. That's so weird. 
That's so weird. So they don't like it when you use the word restream. That makes sense, I guess. Um, so the restream isn't actually new to me. Uh, I, I've been using it since, well, okay, well, here's the whole history. Not that you asked for it, but here it is. Um, they're actually corn dog muffins. I made the batter to be like a corn, corn, like the stuff that you dip corn dogs in, you know? And then instead of frying it, I'm just going to bake it. Um, so, okay, whole story is I started the platform that starts with a D. Oh, Discord, the chatting platform, you mean? Um, you mean Discord? Is that the one? Am I guessing it correctly? Um, I've actually been on Discord for quite a few years now. I joined it when I started playing Pokemon Go because people use it to organize Pokemon stuff because there's no chat feature within the Pokemon app. The YouTube algorithms slash bots are weird. And by weird in this case, we don't mean good. Like I usually do when I say weird. The one you helped Robin join. Okay, so you're talking about the channel, that channel you helped me join. Um, yeah, I, I, I talked to a couple people. It's mostly like young people, it seems like, who are trying out veganism for the first time and they're like asking questions about it and stuff. And so I had a conversation in the general chat um, and the, uh, the, the kids, I'm assuming they're, they're kids, they sound like kids, um, were like, well, how did you hear about vegan? Like, cause I, I got the badge that says like, you're, you've been vegan longer than 20 years. And they were like, how did you hear about it? That was before the internet. And I was like, yeah, like it was weird. And they were like, how did you know it was vegan? And I was like, yeah, you had to order these zines through the internet. I mean, through the, you had to order zines through the mail. You would find out about them either through other zines or through magazine ads and you would have to send money in an envelope to a place and then they would send you a little homemade zine. They didn't even know what zines were. So then I had to talk about what zines were. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, that's how you, and then the zines would tell you all the ingredients to like avoid um, and like where they came from and stuff. So it was like somebody was, put, was doing all the research and putting together these like little homemade things that you had to like get in the mail. And they were like, whoa, that's so weird. But how do you even like know veganism was a thing without the internet? <laughs> and I was like, well, here's why. Here's how. Oh my gosh. Um, and I was like explaining how like veganism kind of was a lot more popular in the hardcore punk rock scene and that I had punk rock friends that I learned about it from. And they were just like, whoa, it's so weird. Like you had to know a vegan in real life, basically. You've been using the internet since 94, yeah. I don't think you've been using the internet since 94 and the inter and you've just been able to be like, what's a veganism? Tell me everything. Tell me all the list of ingredients I can't have. I don't think you were using it like that. I don't think the internet was that robust then. Um, but yeah. A lot of 12 year olds. Yeah, kids usually make them. Um, what did, what were your sister's zines about? And does she still make them? And how long ago did she make them? If she's Do not they still them exist anymore? or are they just internet based now? No, they still are. No, they still are. I know a chick who makes them actually um, and mails them out. Hers is called, what is hers called? So the something housewife, I think it's funny. There are a lot of 13 to 18 year olds. Oh, like on the Discord group. Yeah, that makes sense. It does seem like a lot of youngins, but that's when people go vegan usually. Like it's easier to go vegan when you're young because you're still open-minded. She's Oh, she's made them the past three years. Oh, she's late to the game. That's awesome. So people are still making them. That's cool. Um, yeah, they were fun. Yeah. They were a fun thing. Okay, so I just put my hot dogs in and I realized I haven't taken any pictures yet, which is an issue. So I have to figure out what I did with my phone. Oh my goodness, Robin. Ah, oh, there it is. Sorry, I was hiding. Okay, I'm taking a picture now. 
So this if you is, all haven't uh, made Robin's <laughs> banana bread donut recipe at vegandollhouse.com, I make mine into muffins. And those are really cute. Thank you. I'm gonna put some rosemary on them now so I can have a little a little color. But I'm just gonna put one little rosemary. I actually on. made her muffins like three or four times in in two and a half weeks, and they were like gone super quickly. Everybody loved them. Yeah. When you can add nuts, you can add chocolate chips. You should add chocolate chips. You just should. All right, I'm putting two rosemary leaves on each one. Yeah, Marley, do you have uh, donut pans? I do not have donut pans. That's why she makes them into muffins. They make amazing muffins. Yeah, but when you make them into donuts, you get to put extra chocolate on top. That's and true. maybe sprinkles <laughs> if you're into that. You could do that with the muffins too if you wanted. You could. It just doesn't like seem as cute for some reason in my mind. I don't know why. You don't have donuts. Yeah, I don't have them either. They're probably the best muffins I've ever made, to be honest. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, they're really good. I don't do know if other than making them look better. Other than the banana bread donuts, Robin, do you usually bake yours or deep fry them? Um, I almost always bake any muffins because I have made uh, fried fried donuts before, and I feel like they are a pain in the ass. It takes like four hours, and oh, I'd rather really? just yeah, donuts are a pain. So I'd rather just do the ones in the donut pan because they take less than an hour. It's just mm. easier, you know. And they're just as cute. Michael says they look good. Which ones, yours or mine? The yours. sweet ones or the savory ones, Michael? Yours, he said your name. Oh, oh, thank you. Hey, that's not my name. She spells that's, hers with an I. That's the name of the girl who sings, call your girlfriend. Really? I didn't know that. If she spells it with a Y, I don't know either. I just made that up. Frying is dangerous. Robin, you have a deep fryer, don't you? Uh, actually, I sold it when I moved here because I was trying to like get rid of shit, you know, when you always get rid of stuff oh. before you move. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. Yeah, I, I did have one that I specifically bought for donuts, really. Um, but Zen was really into fried foods. So like on her birthday, I would always make fried foods, but I always did it in the backyard. I never wanted to do it inside because it makes, it's like gross, you know, like it makes it smell and it puts like film, like a mm -hmm. film on everything. It's like nasty stuff. And the smell doesn't go away right away when you fry stuff. Um, so I always did it outside with an extension cord. Except That's that one hard. time I was making fried zucchini and Maki helped herself up on the picnic table while I went inside to grab some tongs. So there was that that happened. Wait, so the zucchini was already out of the fryer? Yeah, some of it. Some of it was on a plate um, with like paper towels under it to like, you know how you like put it on the plate with the paper towels and the paper towels like soak up the extra oil? and then you transfer it to your serving plate. So I must have been going in to get, oh, I probably was going in to get a serving mm -hmm. plate because it was get that plate was getting full and I needed to get them off to get make room for the other ones. And then she just got up on there and had a little picnic. A little picnic for Maki, picnic for one. And I yelled so- They must have been cool loud. enough for her to do that. Oh, yeah, they had been out of, yeah, they cool off really fast. Or she burned her little mouth. It's not, I don't know why you think it's dangerous. Maybe the way that you, maybe if you do it indoors and you don't have a lid, but if you use an actual fryer, they like have a very. She should get a picnic lid. every day. <laughs> of course you say that. Of course. Um, but yeah, the when you use the actual things that are made for frying, it's not, it's not dangerous because they're, they close, you know, the, so the oil doesn't splatter at all. 
Um, but I also used to wear oven mitts sometimes when I would take stuff out just to be safe, you know? So maybe I'm just safety first over here. I only use a spoon of oil when I fry stuff. I would never deep fry. Yeah, well, that's boring, but yeah. You're healthy, it's fine. I get it. Some people are healthy. Then how, are you really frying when you only use a spoon no. or are you sauteing? No. Yes, he's sauteing. Thank you for pointing that out. That's extremely true. <laughs> it's definitely only sauteing. All right, what about these ones that- So my muffins, my muffins have been in for 21 minutes and I'm putting, I put them in for two more. So 23, oh, okay. 24 minutes. I just, I stole way too much rosemary. Well, you'll use it. Okay. I'll, I'll I put, put in the dehydrator. I put rosemary in your bread recipe. Oh yeah. Well, you have to, you have that, you gotta keep up with that bush. Okay, mine's ready to go in the oven. I think they're cute. I'm gonna take a picture now that they have the rosemary on them. How long do they bake for? So I've never made this before, but I wrote down five minutes and then checked them. We'll find out. How hot does your oven run? Robin's oven run, runs warm and my runs mine. Oh yeah, that's true. So I need to take that into consideration when I write this up. And not we just have received a hundred messages today with Restream chat. Oh, yes. Only a hundred guys? I think I'll go to Costco. Yeah, go to Costco. Bulk tofu. Ooh, look for new items. Let's see, what's, oh, and Unreal peanut butter cups are on sale. So you should get that. Uh, why am I not seeing you soon? <laughs> oh, what are you getting your reminder for? Oh, it was the, it was the timer for are the muffins. Are you using your cable? Oh, it's the timer for the muffins? Yeah. Are you using your charging cable? No. Thank you. I'm gonna put a charging cable in. That that tofu is such a good deal. The one at Costco. Mm. It is 11:30. I forgot to set my, my timer. Muffins. My muffins are out of the oven. How long do you think mine have been in the oven? You didn't set a timer? Of course I did, but I just set it right now instead of when I put them in. <laughs> Probably like a minute. Okay, good. That's what I guessed. I'm a soy girl for sure. Yes, I just used soy milk in my muffins. Oh, I have soy milk every day. <laughs> Can't even get it in there. What's you your have issue? soy milk every day? I couldn't be doing it. Why do you look confused? Okay, sometimes people can't plug things in. <laughs> okay. The outlets, when they redid my kitchen, the outlets they put in are really hard to plug things into. And they were like, that's the law. We're like, we have to put those weird ones in. And I'm like, I hate the law. <laughs> I used this soy milk because this is the one, only one that you can buy that, well, that you can buy in the US that doesn't have other stuff in it. It's just water organic soybeans that's the only thing in it every other brand has other stuff in it i don't like plain soy milk oh I no i would baking. never drink i wouldn't drink this it's for cooking and for making i do soy food. milk i do soy milk on my latte you're having I baked tofu mm. yeah i would never put soy milk in a latte i would put macadamia milk mixed greens curry with basmati Ooh. and mushroom rice you're another basmati crew from Karma Kitchen. Mm. We that have good. Santa's in a good karma. I would have meant it's a different karma than his. Thank you. I hope that they will taste great as well. Wait, let me see. I didn't see them. Oh, 
Oh, they do look good. See, that's what's nice about when you overfill them is that they get giant. But so I end up making three less. Yeah, but fine. worth it. Worth it, yeah, right? I agree. Okay. Totally. I've made them in mini before too. I've made yeah, like I love mini minis. Part regular. I like minis because then I can eat more of them. Yeah, it takes like three to equal a regular muffin. Oh, hmm, I was eating more than that, but that's okay. <laughs> three is definitely not enough. Like those mini cookies, I was eating like 10 at a time. I think, I think like 20 is a serving. Yes, I think so too. I think they made a mistake on the box. They usually do. I mean, just wait till I relabel everything. We'll get things to be accurate. Serving right. sizes for cook serving sizes for cookies will be served with your heart. Yes. Serve with your heart and your stomach. We went there last night to look for more of those cookies and they were all out. Yeah, I didn't have any. Well, I, I felt like we did our we did our due diligence to eat as many as possible in a short period of time. So <laughs> I didn't feel like we were too cheated at least. I got other cookies from that same brand. Oh, really? Which ones? The, mm -hmm. bread, the chocolate coated ones? The ones that are like a short, they're like the, I think there's a Girl Scout cookie like it. Wait, which ones did you get? I like the chocolate coated ones so much. I think there's a Girl Scout cookie like these. Yeah, the Thin Mint ones, right? No. Oh. Fudge striped cookies. Oh, weird. There's a Girl Scout one that's the, like Thin Mints and they're dipped in the chocolate and they're really good. Oh, those are like the Keebler ones, not like the Girl Scout ones. Oh, yeah. They're thinner than the Keebler ones. It says crispy shortbread dipped and drizzled with fudge. But the, the fudge on the bottom, it's actually just chocolate. It gets soft and then it gets all over your hands. I don't think five minutes was enough. I'm going to check it. But one of them looks too moist on top, I think. Do you think they take longer to cook with the hot dogs in them too? Oh shit. Okay, so I have a dilemma. Three of the ones I made didn't have hot dogs in them because I ran out. Those ones are not cooked, but the ones with hot dogs in them are cooked. What do I do? You take them out and let them cool and take out the hot dog ones, see how undercooked the others are and throw them back in. This is how I'm, they're very undercooked. I think I'm gonna have to throw those. Yeah, take the other, take them out, let them cool, take the hot dog ones out. Fuck, okay. Oh, okay. I, okay, I don't want them to burn, so I guess I have no choice. And I definitely don't want them to get dry because that was my problem last time is they were too dry. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking them. And cornbread it gets dry pretty easily. So what are all of you up to today? It's Saturday. Is it still Saturday? Yeah, it's still Saturday there too. Oh, they look so cute. What's everyone's? Let's see. Okay, wait, let me take a picture. Oh my God, I'm so happy with them. I went to see them. All right, give me a sec. Did you just put a sliced hot dog on top or are they inside too? What's that? Did you just put a sliced hot dog on top or are they inside as well? They're like, it's like a chunk this deep. So I just shoved it all the way to the bottom. Okay. So Marley, what are you up to today on Saturday? Oh, those are really cute. They're cute, right? Yeah, they're cute. I could have put more. Oh my God, there aren't any food. cookies. <laughs> they're, they're cornbread muffins with hot dogs. <laughs> Maybe he thought yours were cookies. Do these look like cookies? <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. It's Saturday for you still. Oh, is it not Saturday for them? Where's Brianna? Mm -hmm. Brianna has left the building. 
We're gonna come back. Oh, you blinked. Does that mean you're back? Brianna, come back. I wonder what the hot dog ones taste like. I'm hoping they're gonna taste like corn dogs. You don't think they will? That's what I want them to taste like. I don't know what's happening with Brianna. I just played games for a few hours and you're going to the store for groceries and you got to take your mini suitcase to the store to get food. Wait, why do you take your mini suitcase to the store? Is it because it's on wheels and it's easier to take your food out of the store because it's on wheels? Okay. Well, I think the stream is over because Brianna just left us. Oh, Brianna's back. Hello. No, she's not back. It was a lie. I am back. Oh, okay, good. I mean, at least when your face gets frozen, you're making a cute expression. When my face gets frozen, it's like... <laughs> And you just looked like a totally normal Brianna. Oh, good. I planned that. So you take oh. your mini suitcase, Marley? Yeah, I think it's because it's on heavy. wheels. That I makes sense. That it's because it's on wheels. Um, yeah, the tofu could get heavy. It's four packages of tofu. I can't even imagine. This stream is over. Guess what that's from? I don't know. No one would make, no one would guess that, I'm sure. That's way too hard. The real so, the real word says this conversation is over. No, still no. Mm -mm. Okay, that's all right. The craft. Is it from the craft? Oh, that was such a good guess, but no. It's from a different movie. A different movie that you should have seen. Maybe I have seen it. Maybe you have. And you just don't recognize it because you've only seen it once. So what type of tofu does Costco have? House Foods is the brand. So they don't have Wildwood? No, they don't have a good one. But the, the House Foods one is good for doing other types of things. So like it works well if you want to make something else with it completely. Like I use it when I make my tofurkey and I use it. Oh, it's really good for if you ever freeze your tofu. Riley. Do you ever do oh, the I've thing where you freeze it and then squeeze the water out like a sponge? It's good for that. Oh, Marley, have a good rest of your day. It's a three pack and a, oh, it's a different brand where you Oh, have. okay. Well, ignore everything I just said. It was all a lie. What brand Wait. is yours? And you only get three, so that should be even less heavy to carry, which is nice. Which is still um, heavy. Okay. List three things that you're going to do today, and then I'll list three that I'm going to do, and then we'll hang up. Um, I should get things ready to mail. I have some returns to make. Okay, that's good. Watch Trashy TV. Okay. And sort through my emails. Oh, God. That's, yeah, at least you have the Trashy TV in there to help break up all the other stuff going through emails is like my least favorite thing to do nowadays i feel like i think i have 15 in my inbox 15 That's is it. so lovely yeah well, I, I guess if i only had 15 that wouldn't be so bad i do it every day and the only things that yeah. should be in my inbox are things that need action yeah like there's no way i could do that else. every day everything else goes into folders or gets deleted oh god you would never want to see my inbox it would give you an anxiety attack Mm -hmm. I can't so I cannot talk about handle that. it. Yes, my inbox is also at 12. Um, okay, so next topic. What I'm going to do is I am going to make the ice cream. I'm gonna what kind it. are you making? Um, coffee, coffee, buzz, 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 based on the old, old Ben and Jerry's flavor from back in the day. So I already made the ice cream, and I already made the chocolate espresso chunks. I just need to churn the ice cream. So that's one thing I'll do. And then I want to clean not only the house, which is disgusting, and you would not be, a, you would, yeah, you would, you'd have a hard time not saying anything. That's how bad it is. I would not I say anything. I would never say anything. But you, it would be hard 
to not say anything. Like you wouldn't say anything, but it would be hard. Mine contains thousands. No, it's like tens of thousands. Tens of thousands of tofus in the pack? No, emails. Oh, yeah, me too. Me too, actually. It's really bad. Um, but I also want to clean like out there, like the pool area, I feel like is, and the garage is getting, like I always clean the house part and then I ignore like anything that Everything isn't else. in this little perimeter. But I've been noticing that there's some areas around out here that could use some help. And I want to blow up my my sea dragon. Because it's so what is your fun thing it. for today? Because those don't sound fun. Yeah, those all sound terrible, huh? This was my fun thing. You were my fun thing. And now Aww. it's over. <laughs> um, well, I have that photo shoot I did this morning so I can post my... I can post my orange Julius recipe. That's fun. Oh, good. But I nice. feel like there should be one other fun thing. Oh, I Scott agree. did tell me that I could watch the Descendants movie as long as I was willing to watch it with commercials. So I think I'm going to watch the Descendants movie tonight also. Have so that's, that's that? fun. Those are a couple of fun things. You need to deep clean too? That. I don't need a deep. I didn't necessarily say I was going to do a deep clean. <laughs> So I think what you're insinuating is that I also need a deep clean, which you would be right, but that's not what I'm doing today. If you just normal clean often enough, doesn't that equal a deep clean? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I think so. Oh, you have weeds, yeah. I luckily have a gardener who takes care of that, but um, patio furniture just gets really dirty really fast. Yeah, you have to wipe it all down all the time. Yeah, I didn't know until I had my own. And then I was like, is this what it's like for everyone? They just wipe it down all the time? Yep. Yeah, Yeah. so I, I have to do that. And I really want to blow up my dragon. He's been like losing air for a while. I need to blow you, it up. You have some sort of pump, right? Yeah, I do. But it still is kind of loud and takes a while. So I put it off. I'm a procrastinator on that, <laughs> let me tell you. Like I should be filling him up once a week. And I think I've only refilled him once since I originally inflated him. So Marley, you need to do a clean. You don't need to do a major clean. Take out okay. trash and organize. Oh, I need to take out the trash also. I need to declutter, take out the trash, and do some scrubbing because you just don't need to know. I'm disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. Dust is so not a lab. Go away, dust, to be gone. You don't want to give us a like, tour of your dirty house? dusting thing where you can take the duster part off and wash it in the washer. So we're like really having the dust be gone. I used to have a duster where I just moved the dust around, I guess. But don't <laughs> like, forget to don't forget to clean out your washer's lint trap like every quarter. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That was our problem. Where is that we again? Last week. Wait, can you tell me where that where that washer lint trap is? The plumber did it. The plumber. I'm honestly thinking about getting an air purifier. Oh my God, I want an air purifier for when it's all smoky and there's a lot of fires. I was thinking about getting one on Amazon. It was only like 120. Maybe we can get it together, Marley. I really like get it together. <laughs> let's get our shit together and then let's get the air purifier together. Yeah, I don't know how to I, clean it either. Looks like, I, I, I don't about. know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. find out. I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna tell us. I bet there's a YouTube video that would show it how to do it. How do you clean lint from the washer? I, I do it from the dryer every time. I just didn't really know about the washer one. Right. That's how, that's what backed up our-, our Okay, that's definitely week. not how mine is. So wait, Marley, question. Does yours load on the top or in the front? Because I think that's different. Ours yeah, see, the front. yeah, we need that air purifier for sure. Yours is the front? See, mine's the front too. And so far I've only found instructions on the top one. Oh, the spruce knows everything. The spruce also taught me how to take care of my plant. Do you want to see how my plant is doing? I do. I had to trim mine yesterday and it, there's hardly anything left to it. I oh, have it's to doing well. That That's another thing I need to do. It's doing well. It's a top washer and front dryer. Here. A top washer. Okay, I've got it. It says for the top washer, the thing that's in the middle, do you have a thing in the middle? 
there's apparently a cap that it removes and you can maybe put a glove on and you can put your hand in and take the lint out. Okay, but I'm trying to find it for, it's just, they only tell you about the top ones. I don't know if it's where like the water pipe meets the washer, but we had, it had to back? come from, it had, yeah, it came from the outside of the house. It had to be cleared from the outside of the house. I can't do that. My washer's upstairs on a two-story house. Then I don't know how yours works. It's ability to suck sucks. <laughs> It's suckiness is sucky, is what you're saying. Uh, I haven't even, I didn't even know Bosch made vacuums. Do they still? Yeah, you probably could get a new one. So, Michael, you do, you say, do you say vacuum or do you say Hoover? I mean, he just said vacuum. I know, but he could have been saying vacuum cleaner but when he does the act of it uh, he hoovers. what do you yeah when you use your bosch when it's being sucky what is what is it called when you're doing that where when you're pushing it over the floor what is that called you're in an apartment building i don't think you have to do your own shit when you're in an apartment building that's the benefit of living in an apartment you never have to clean that thing out not your problem not your problem marley we excuse you from that task forever Hoover or vacuum. He says both. I think it's so weird. I just think of Hoover as a brand. That's all I I think of Hoover as something I do to my food when I'm inhaling it, but I don't know if that's really <laughs> that's <it>. all. <laughs> or I think of a president. Oh, did we have a president named Hoover? That's so funny. I did not know that. Cause I'm yeah, not really, from you here. don't have to worry about yours. Thanks. You're not, you're not from here. Where are you from? Somewhere else. We didn't have presidents where I'm from. Ooh, must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> My fantasy about. land doesn't have presidents. Just socialism. Not all of it, though. Just certain aspects. Yeah. Okay. We love hanging out with you guys. I love seeing all of you. I'm Thanks for talking with us. And do my... Yep. Chores. Boring adulting. Yeah. But now we have our list of things to do, which I needed to make. So I'm glad we did and that. And we have things we have things to eat. Yeah. I have one more thing. Oh yeah, ice cream. After the ice, ice cream, cream, then I can clean. I have to finish making a mess before I clean. That's the rule. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I want more I need socialism. to wash all the dishes from baking. I want more socialism too. I do too. Okay. I'm working on it. Next week. All right. We'll see you next Thanks weekend. Thanks for being here with us, guys. All right, Aww. bye. Love you.